here we have a trans woman having a meltdown. My name is Trey, and welcome to What Can I Change? Let's go ahead and hop right into this video. I generally have fucking mental health problems, and when you take that shit away from me, I can't fucking do it anymore. So normally I look into these people. Normally I go way into their past, go watch every single TikTok they own. But a lot of these people, they'll privatize it, before, you know, before you can get to it. But in this case, I didn't even try. And this is the reason why. Because this person wasn't making any kind of statements. Normally if somebody makes a statement like, I think kids should have surgeries. Then I'm going to go look into your TikTok and see what's going on. And then I'll try to get a whole pass of you before I make a video. Once again, because I try to see the humanity in everybody. This individual, I'm not doing that with because I want to not focus necessarily on the individual. I want to focus on the meltdown. Okay? I don't care if it's a troll, if this is real, if this is not. Because I like to show you guys what happens more often than not. People do have these meltdowns. And I don't think this really has anything to do with them being trans. The hard thing about living life and putting yourself on a camera and then doing all this transition and stuff is what causes people to crack. I told you guys that I was following an individual, as y'all saw a TikTok I did last uh, two weeks ago, I believe, two, two weeks ago or one week ago. I made a video on somebody. Once again, this man had a vagina, right? And the reason I bring him up is because he has been posting a ton. And I went to go see what happened since the Twitter blow up and everybody knew who he was a little bit. It's been it's been sad to see. It's been a complete mental crack. Every single day I watch this individual. They private their account, but every day they post something about haters and how if you want to try me, come fight me, stop talking behind my back, blah, 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 blah. It's every day something about haters. Listen, guys, the beautiful thing about this social media life is that it can be grand. It can be great. It can be amazing. But you've got to understand either when you're about to have a mental breakdown or if you can't handle this mentally. This life is not for everyone, especially somebody who could be possibly going through a transition or going through life changing stuff that's going to change them for the rest of their life. You cannot live your life on this platform, making this money, doing everything you can in front of people. Not everybody can handle it. We see this happen to actors who make far more money than we could ever dream of. And they end up cracking. They end up going wild. This life is not for everybody. Just because you can get in front of a camera and entertain people doesn't mean you should. There are some people in this world that are meant to do stuff behind the scenes. They are meant to work maybe at a corporate job where nobody knows who they are, it's at least social media wise. They can work at their local McDonald's, be a cash register person. And I never knock that kind of stuff because some people need to live simpler lives because getting on the Internet every single day and listening to the uh, sections, even me, I don't even look at the comment section all that often. I normally read it on the weekends and I may respond. But even for myself, you cannot continue to be in this world of full negativity. You cannot live in this world of getting validation from the Internet. Do what you love for this social media life. Do what you want to do. Make videos, make skits, comedies, pranks, shorts, whatever you want to do. Just do not. Get so caught up into this where you start to believe. And I hope I hope I'm making sense with this. The Internet is real life, but the Internet is not real life. The people commenting are normally real people. And some of them have really valid criticism and they can talk to you and help you and move forward. But a lot of these people just watch. A lot of these people control you. A lot of these people will never be close to you. It will always be a parasocial relationship. You're just a character on a screen to them. They don't see any humanity in you. That's why when you see a lot of people comment on these celebrities, like I told you with Doja Cat, they start thinking just because they're fans or supporters that they have some kind of hand in their success. But they really don't. At the, as you chose to watch them because of their skill and their abilities. Their skills and abilities got them to where they are. It made you want to watch. So just because you're a fan doesn't mean you made them. So when we see this individual here having a complete breakdown, they've gotten too far. You've got to learn to take a break from the social media life or do what some people have done. We have seen huge YouTubers walk away and say, I'm, I'm done with this. 
We saw the Twitch streamer from not too long ago, one of the biggest Twitch streamers ever. He walked away. He said he's done of being in this rat race. And make no mistake about it. This this life, even I'm learning this, and I've been making videos a while, it is a rat race to keep getting views, to keep making money, to try to get ad revenue, to try not to get copyright strike, to not having your channel taken away, to being censored. It is a rat race. If you want to be a part of that, come on down and join. But understand, you may not be able to handle it, and that's perfectly okay. Please go do something better with your life than staying on a social media life to the point where you start having breakdowns. It does happen. Sometimes you're just going to walk away from it all. Goodbye.